Element Extreme by ODG Composites. For a beautiful finish, properly seal, release, and wax the mold. Before spraying, ensure the mold is free of dust and debris. Begin with a consistent spray with a half overlap each pass and spray crosshatch with each coat. The first coat should be opaque and be tacky enough for the second coat within one to two minutes. There should not be any beading or pooling. In the event that there is beading or pooling, it is usually caused by improper waxing or too heavy of a first coat. In the event there is beading or pooling, allow extra time for the Element Extreme to become tacky and then begin with your next coat. This coating applies much the same as other ultra thin coatings. Start with fine coatings and build the heavier coats. Element Extreme is dry to the touch when fully coated in 30 minutes, so continue for the first two to three coatings extremely light until you reach a solid color. Continue with consistently sprayed half overlapped passes and cross hashing each coat. After reaching a solid coverage with light passes, continue with heavier coats of consistent half overlaid passes and cross hashed coatings until reaching a four to six mil thickness. As you reach four to six mil thickness, you should see an orange peel finish start to develop. As a rough finish gives more surface for the epoxy to bond. After reaching the final thickness, remove the masking tape from around the edges to allow for tacky tape. Also immediately disassemble and thoroughly clean the spray gun with the proper solvent as a short pot life and hardness of Element Extreme will clog the small orifices of a spray gun. It is also possible to use a gel coat cup gun with a number two or number three tip. Element Extreme produces a Class A finish with unsurpassed durability and UV stable. If you have questions, feel free to email or call us.